Now let me show you an application that I really don't get. If I go in under menu here, I'll have something called clock. Now, based on the icon, based on the title, I'd expect it has something to do with the watch, that I can see what time it is, and that I can set the time in there and similar. And if I press it, I do get the time in big letters, I get the date as well, and as a little extra bonus, I get weather information down here. So that's all very nice. So up here is a button with an icon that tells me that if I press it then something will happen with the light. And it does. It's fairly intuitive. I press it. It makes the display a lot darker. I press it again and the display is brighter. So it's easy to see that this is some kind of thing that you can press. It looks like a button. It has an icon that is easy to understand as well. But I'm not quite sure why I need it here. So let me show you a few examples of things that I don't get. Down here I have alarms. Alarms are pretty simple to understand. I have one alarm already that I can switch on if I wish to. And it gives me the amount of hours and minutes before it will ring, which is nice. Time. It's nice that it's not repeated automatically. The ringtone, blah blah blah, if it vibrates and if it has a label. So there's nothing really here that's difficult. And alarm seems natural to have somewhere around the clock application. But then there's something else that I don't understand straight away. Down here I have the home button. Um, I'm not sure why I need it because I have the back button over here as well which would take me back to the home screen or at least the menu. So it seems as though it's some kind of, of well we're not we weren't quite sure what to put here so we just put in the home button. Then here there's access to music. Um, so this is my music player. Again, I'm not quite sure why this is something that I need when I'm in my clock. And if I press this button here, I'll have a slideshow of my images. This will be the images that are either downloaded or has been taken with the camera. I'm not going to press this button because all my pictures are of my, my son and my wife and I'm not going to put those on YouTube without their permission. And then there's another thing that I don't understand. I cannot set the clock from in here. I need to go to settings. And it's time and date here on the button. So as you can see there's a lot of stuff in here that I don't get. I don't get why I have the button up here. I don't get why I have these two buttons. I don't get why I go to home. And also I don't get that I cannot change the time in here. Actually I can go into the weather application from here. But, but I cannot do anything with the clock. So it all seems very strange. That is until I press the button down here. That normally has a more functionality of a kind. And this tells me that, well, I can go to alarms again. So that's kind of a duplicate of the icon just below it. I can add an alarm. Fair enough. And then there's dock settings. So if we go into dock settings here, I can see that this has something to do with if I put the phone down in some kind of a dock or cradle or whatever you want to call it. So you can see that the phone is not docked. You can decide if you want to play a sound when you insert or remove phone from the dock and stuff like that. And now it appears to me after seeing all the functionality here that this is when you put the phone in a dock. So if your phone is in a dock or a cradle as I normally call them it's very nice to have this night view, night mode, so it doesn't light up the whole living room. It's very nice to have easy access to your music because you might be connected to a loudspeaker or something when you're in this cradle. And it's very easy to have this slideshow functionality. So you can put on a slideshow that always moves and something changes uh, when you have your phone, let's say, at your, at your office desks. So it's all very easy to understand this if you understand that it is a cradle or a dock functionality. So why is it that I must go under clock to find this? And I'm very surprised by the fact that I cannot change the time and the date in here. I'm very surprised by all the stuff down here. And that's simply because the information is put into this application in a manner that I don't understand. When you want to put structure on your information in your mobile phone or in your smartphone, you better be sure that people understand why they have this or that when they open 
this or that application. When I go into the market, I understand that I can buy something. When I go into settings, I understand that I can change the settings. When I go into maps, I understand that I go into maps. But if I go into the uh, clock application here, you'll see that I have a lot of functionality that is actually related to if the phone's in a dock. So all the functionality in here makes sense. It's a nice application for a phone that is in a dock. It's similar to the application that is called Car Home here, where you have easy access to a number of large fields so you can easily hit them when you're driving. Only I would never expect to see this functionality. So this icon should be changed and this label should be renamed to something similar as yeah, it could be duck, it could be cradle, it could be a lot of other stuff. It shouldn't be clock because there's no link between what you get in the clock application and what you would expect to get in the clock application. So it's a nice application, but if you think this is a clock, you will see this application as some kind of trash can for a lot of functionality that Samsung didn't know where to put. If you know that it has something to do with a docking station, it'll all make sense and be a very fine application.